Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe at home. Today I wanted to do a video that has a lot to do with staying home. Video calls are a huge part of working from home, especially right now, so I wanted to do a five to 10 minute makeup look for your video calls if you wanna wear makeup. Of course, if you don't, that's totally fine too. If I was actually doing this like in a speedy situation where I was like, oh my God, I need to get ready. I could do this in five minutes. If I was taking my time, it would take about 10. That's how long it took me pretty much to do this as I was like filming and doing it pretty like casually and slowly. Before we get into this, I did wanna mention we're doing a giveaway over on the podcast that one of my best friends and I have started. We are called Not Your Therapists and we have an Instagram account, which is where we are doing our giveaway. So we're giving away an Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. It's one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes I've ever used. It is so incredibly versatile and really great quality. So we wanted to do a giveaway. And if you do want to enter that, head on over to our Instagram at notyourtherapist. I will have it in the description box below and find the picture that shows this eyeshadow palette that says giveaway and just follow what it says in the description. I will be doing a giveaway on my channel again very soon too. So definitely stay tuned for that. And if you want to see how I do this super easy five minute makeup tutorial for video calls, then just keep watching. My Ricky Loves Ricky Mirror is the one that I use every time I do my makeup, but I also really love it for video calls because of the light and I can put my phone on the magnetic mount. Just saying, it makes a really big difference. For my actual makeup, I'm starting off by using a concealer from Becca. This is the Ultimate Coverage Cream Concealer. When I'm in a hurry and I want my concealer to look as good as possible, I really like to use a cream concealer because it blends out well, it doesn't dry super quickly, and obviously you can use it with your fingers because it kind of helps warm up the product, and then I just go over it with a beauty blender. And then I will use the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation. This is kind of like a tinted moisturizer with more coverage. It looks so natural on my skin. I love the color selection that they have. I find that CoverGirl foundations usually match my skin tones very well. Um, that's obviously just a personal preference, but I'm just applying that all over my face and then blending it out with the Beauty Blender. Super quick and easy to do, and it covers everything without looking cakey. Obviously, you don't want to look cakey. And then for adding a little bit of dimension to my face, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Mocha. This is my favorite for adding some warmth, but also definition. It's not too much of a cool tone for conceal or contouring. And for blush, I'm using a blush stick from Birds Bees. This is one of my favorites. This is the shade Peach Pond. And since I'm using two cream products at the same time, I like to blend them out at the same time. It saves a lot of time and it makes everything just kind of melt into your skin a little bit better. And I obviously do this before I add any powder on top. So if you are doing something quick, make sure you're working with the same texture so that everything is super easy to blend out and then you can add your powder products on afterwards. And the powder that I am using is from Bite Beauty. This is the Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. I am using the shade Light One, and this has a very beautiful texture. It looks very silky on your skin, never looks cakey, so it's one of my favorites for setting everything down, especially cream products. And then I'm going to quickly fill in my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe. This is a kind of lighter shade than I usually use, but I like to use a lighter one when I'm filling in my brows quicker. That way, if you do make a mistake or go a little bit overboard with your brows um, and you don't have time to fix it, then usually you don't have to worry about that because it's a lighter shade. And for eyeshadow, obviously you can skip this step if you really don't want to or if you don't have time. Um, I like to go with a monochromatic look if I'm in a hurry. So I pick something that's a similar shade to my blush and just apply it as a light wash all over my eyelids. It makes everything come together in the end very nicely to make it look like you put a little bit more effort and time into your makeup, but it's super quick to do. To finish off the eyes, I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. It's so good, it's very easy to work with. If you have a mascara that is a little bit finicky and you know that you need to work it a little bit more into your lashes to make it look perfect, don't use that one. If you have mascara that you know is just super easy to use and makes your lashes look good, then definitely use it. 
this one is it for me i love it so i'm just doing a couple coats on my top and bottom lashes nothing too crazy just to obviously make it look like they're there and then to finish off the whole look i decided just to use a tinted lip balm this is the bite beauty agave plus lip mask in the shade buzzed you can use something that has more pigment if you want or an actual lipstick this is just what i would do personally and it keeps your lips super hydrated for a long time and that is it for this super quick video call makeup so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did definitely give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and of course don't forget to enter the giveaway over on our podcast's instagram it is at not your therapist and i will leave it in the description box as well as a link to actually listen to the podcast if you haven't yet we are really proud of it and we're having so much fun and other than that i hope you're all staying healthy and safe at home and i hope you guys are having an amazing day and i will see you guys in my next video bye